All right, so I'm running the math. Easy solution. Today we're going to continue uh, doing derivatives of um, trigonomic functions, inverse trigonomic functions, and look at the derivative of inverse 10 or arc 10 or whatever. So in my other videos, I use cosine, inverse cos, inverse sine. It's a similar method defining it using implicit differentiation. So basically, if you have a function y is equal to inverse 10 of x, this is basically with my other inverse uh, function videos this is basically a way of writing say tan y is equal to x so it's basically you switch the x and y's and you solve for y where is y is in, inside of this and basically uh, I showed my other video on inverse tan uh, function it's defined for for basically y is less than or equal to pi over 2 and greater than or equal to negative pi over 2 so basically if you were to graph tan of x you would have something like this so if you were to graph uh, just regular tan of x, you're going to have something like this. It goes like, they have asymptotes over here, and whatnot, and repeats uh, forever. So, uh, but, uh, yeah, and it keeps going this way as well. So you're going to have something like this. But the, uh, this is, this is uh, y is equal to tan x. But for the inverse, it's number it's a reflection of the y equals x line, so it's going to be something like this. It's going to be something like this, and this one here is y is equal to inverse tan of x. And we only looked at because we we only inverse uh, this this function here, so that we wouldn't have um, multiple v values of y for every x. So we only look at this one. We invert this. And this basically here, this is pi over 2, uh, negative pi over 2, and here is pi over 2. Some other video, better explanation. But yeah, this is inverse. So now uh, to basically get the derivative of this, we just look at this function and do use implicit differentiation like before. So we're going to have tan y is equal to x. Just take derivative from both sides, use, and then using chain rule here, this what the derivative of tan is basically secant squared, you see my other video on this, y, and then, then we use chain rule and y prime, then this that times the uh, derivative of x is just 1. And remember, uh, like always, you have to know what the derivative is, is in terms of, so in terms of x, so change in y over change in x, so that's what the derivative is. Then if we rearrange this, we're going to y prime is equal to 1 uh, divided by secant squared y. But if you look at that other identity where I, I showed it, basically sine squared, yeah, sine squared uh, y uh, plus cos squared y, this one's just equal to 1. And then remember, secant squared is just equal to 1 over cos. So basically, uh, secant, so yeah, secant y is just equal to 1 over cos y. And if you square these two, it's just a secant squared. If you square both, it's going to be like this. So what we do here, what we could do is just divide this all out by cos squared. Or, and, and we know that tan, uh, tan y is equal to sine over cos, sine y over cos y. And uh, if you square them, you're just going to get squared if you square everything, So in this case. So what we do here is basically just divide everything out by cos squared y. So we're not changing anything. Cos squared y, cos squared y. So then now we're left with, uh, if we drag this equation down here, we're left with, this one is basically tan squared. So we're going to have tan squared y plus, this one is just 1, plus 1 is equal to 1 divided by cos squared y, or just secant squared y. So this is equal to secant squared y. So here's the identity that we just uh, derived from the original identity. So basically, uh, just solve for secant squared y. That's just it. So this is it. And then we just plug this back into our derivative. So we have y prime is equal to 1 over tan squared y plus 1. But if we look at our, basically, our, uh, our definition of the inverse, we had y is equal to inverse tan of x tan of x where basically this is a way of writing tan y is equal to x. So tan y we had in, at the beginning is, is equal to x. So if we square both sides, we're going to get tan squared y is equal to x squared. And that's just, that's this. So we just plug it in. And we're going to get the derivative. 
So y prime is equal to, well, 1 over, this rearrange is 1 plus x squared. And that's, uh, yeah, that's basically all for today. That's a derivative. This is, yeah, this derivative of y is equal to inverse 10 of x. It's just 1, one divided by 1 plus x squared. Well, that's all for today. So hopefully you learned and um, stay tuned for another mad easy solution.